Hi guys, it's Martin from Redbridge Tuition and here I'm going to give you a quick brief overview of what we do here. So firstly, we've got two centres, one in Seven Kings and one in Loughton and we provide a tutoring service for a range of ages. Due to the current crisis going on, we've had to adapt and we've managed to move all of our classes onto an online platform. Each character is unique and special and at the end you will love them all. Okay, that was good. What I will say is there was a little too much detail about what happens in the plot. So what you absolutely don't want to tell us is the ending of the book and you told us that he defeats be told more at the end. Okay. I know that the book came out years ago. I It, it was always my favourite book when I was a kid as well. In fact, I still love it. Now it says start facing south. So everyone turn and face south. Remember the computer screen is north. Where I am, that's north. So face away from me. Face south. Start facing south. 90 degree turn, anti-clockwise. 90 degree turn, anti-clockwise. Samir, you went clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Good. And then half a turn clockwise. So half a turn means opposite direction. Half a turn to your right. So a good kind of equation actually to use is just to do 0 0.5 or the, the initial number, initial activity like 30 times 0 0.5 to the power of um, number of half-lives. So points Very good. What do they call female foxes? No. Female foxes. What do you call baby foxes? They're called kits. Kits, good. So, baby foxes are called kits, uh, female foxes are called vixen. In springtime, the largest of any carnivores. What, what's a carnivore? Zero, and then we've got a sign, and then T, and then another sign, and then ten. What does that mean? The time in between zero. And 10. Okay, um, so it's in inequality, right? Now, what does that symbol yeah. mean? Um, um, less than. Yeah, it's less than, yeah. So, what we're saying is, the actual range that T can be will probably be from 0 0.1 to about 9.9. .9 because it's not less than or equal to, is it? Let me join the link and now I have Key Stage 3 Science. So I just had Key Stage 4 Maths. Key Stage 3 Science from 12 to 1. Okay. Right, so you get one mark for that. The second mark would be comprised of multiple different hydrocarbons. Because remember, it's a mixture, right? It's got loads of hydrocarbons. And what do we, I mean, crude oil, we, do, we then do fractional distillation, if you remember, from about three weeks ago. And it then splits up all these hydrocarbons. Say and that was like, like assuming that was also 20 minutes, multiple tries on the computer. Which giant covalent structure? Yeah, really good as well, really good range. Uh, yeah. Very good. I think we did that last week, didn't we? We're going to learn more about that today.
How is it even? <laughs> like, what? like, how could it be very unlikely? It, it could happen. It could happen, but it's very unlikely to happen, right? There's a, there's a bird flying past, right? What? Alright, so just imagine there's a bird flying overhead. Is it highly likely that it will, or is it even chance that it will put on your head? Or is it very unlikely that it will? Well, no, I'm not sure. It's very unlikely. It's very unlikely. It's very unlikely. Because you have it does, too. It might not land on your head. So we need to know about the effects of adrenaline. So have you heard of like the fight or flight response? No, but I've heard it's like an adrenaline rush. Basically, so when you're in a situation where you um. You know, you need to be able to escape from a situation, for example. So say if you were walking and you saw a massive, huge lion, your fight or flight response will kick in. And that basically means that it prepares your body for action. So it prepares your body to run away, maybe it will increase your heart rate so that you can get more blood pumping to your organs, such as your legs, where you, to help you to run to your muscles. Yeah, like I've maybe heard through adrenaline rushes through like different types of diseases. So you said the adjective, and that's perfect. That's what I really want you to do. I don't want you to say the word experienced. I want you to tell me, is it a verb? Is it an adjective? Is it a noun? Because the examiner really does look at that, that you can name your word classes. And so this is our last lesson of the day. Um, it's a key stage for physics from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. After a long and grueling day, uh, hopefully we can finish strong. I'm just waiting for my one student to join the call and then we can make a swift start. It's exactly 3 p.m. So usually we give um, our students about five minutes due to obviously technical issues that could arise. And then after that, uh, if there's no response, we look to follow them up by directly ringing um, their parents. So currently I'm just waiting for my student to join and then we should make a start. Saturday is always my busiest day at Redbridge Tuition as I teach for four hours with a one hour break in between. Okay, we're ready to admit him to the class. Currently experiencing um, some technical difficulties with uh, internet connection. So we're just uh, waiting for him to, to rejoin the call. H is equal to question oh, mark and uh, GPE okay, is equal to 180 Yeah, so think oh, okay. of three yeah, 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 yeah. So, if you advance yeah. oh, Troops are advancing okay. and they're going towards the end A-P-U-S-T August a U G U S T A U G U S T Next one. S T E T S T E N E R. Good. Next one. The teacher talked quietly. Good. The teacher talked. Give me another one. So that was a typical Saturday for us at Redbridge Tuition. We had all of our tutors teaching lessons back to back today. And hopefully we can see you guys soon when the centres reopen. Thank you for tuning in guys.